Good morning, make your friends. I hope you're having a great day today. I know I am. I'm really excited about today because y'all will get to say goodbye to a crazy and insane year. And tomorrow we'll get a fresh new start with a brand new year. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me this morning. My name is Carrie, and I've got a YouTube channel called Mama Dare City DIY. I do a lot of really fun and creative stuff over there. So when we get through with our live video today, head on over there and check that out if you haven't done so already. Y'all, today I've got a really fun but super almost too easy project for us today. If you enjoy coffee as much as I do, then you are really going to love today's project. You want to see what stencil we're going to be using? Let's 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 pull it up. Here it is. Look at this stencil, y'all. This is called Farmer's Market. Does have a Happy New Year stencil, but y'all, we've also got some other fun stencils. We've got this really cute Farmer's Market stencil. This one says, "Believe you can do it," and that is one thing I do every day. Even if I don't feel so confident, I tell myself every day, "You can do this. You've got this." But y'all, I love this stencil here because it says. Happy New Year. Before we get started, I do want to say a big thank you to Amy for letting me take over the Maker Studio Facebook page today. I get to close out 2021 with y'all, and I am super excited that you're joining me today. So that's enough talking, y'all. Let's get on the workspace and let's get started. Okay, so you have probably guessed by looking at our workspace here that we're going to be making a coffee cup for our new year. I think this is super cute. Picked up this cup from the Dollar Tree and my Happy New Year stencil is going to fit perfect on this cup. Uh, here's my Christmas cup that I get to say goodbye to for the season. My friend gave this to me and I absolutely love it, but I'm really excited to make this brand new one for a happy new year because we're going to be using black and gold leaf and i love the black the white and the gold together it's just so classy and i think it makes a great statement and it's a perfect way to start off our new year you can also do this same thing using one of your wine glasses that you can find from the dollar tree these are just stemless wine glasses and these are something that they carry all the time but for today's project I'm going to be working on the coffee cup. So let's just open up this stencil. And I'll show you the other stencils that come in this package. And again, this is called the Farmer's Market stencil. There's four stencils in the set. You kind of have like a great mix. I think this one's really good for Thanksgiving or for your fall, the farmer's market, it's classic. You can use that for anything. This is one of my favorite ones because believe you can is something that I love to say. If you believe you can do it, guess what? You're gonna be able to do it. But happy new year. Look at that stencil. It is so cute. So I'm just gonna grab my scissors and cut it apart. One thing you want to make sure of before you get started, you want to clean your cup really, really well with some alcohol. Now I'm going to also be using the black no bake ceramic paint today. And I think I mentioned this before, but I'm going to use some gold leaf. You can also get the copper leaf or the silver leaf. Now also with the gold leaf, you're going to need your gilding size. I'm going to be using my Maker Studio paintbrush today. Y'all, this is my most favorite paintbrush. As you can tell, it is well loved. And I'm also gonna be using my Maker Studio foam brush today. If you have never used this foam brush, your life is gonna be forever changed once you do. You're never gonna buy another foam brush again because this one is fabulous. Okay, so I've gone ahead ahead of time and I've cleaned my cup. And watch how simple this is. We're just going to pop this stencil right on here. And if you don't get it in the perfect spot the first time, guess what the beauty of mesh stencils is? You can pick it up and you can replace it. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to hold it up to my mouth to make sure I've got it centered about in the spot. I want to be able 
to let everybody see how beautiful this cup is going to be. One thing that we need to make sure when we're working with our stencils, you want to take your fingers, you want to burnish that stencil in. Y'all, who wants a chance to win this stencil? I wonder if we can talk Amy into doing another giveaway today. Will y'all help me ask her? Amy, please, can we have a giveaway today? Okay, I think she's going to let us. <laughs> How can she say no to us, right? It's the last day of the year. Okay, so if you want the chance to win the stencil for your very own, all you've got to do is to tag a couple of your friends down in those comments below and tell them that they should definitely hang out with us this morning on the last day of 2021 because we are having way too much fun over here. Also, y'all don't let, forget to let me know if you're watching us live today or if you're catching it on a replay. If you've got questions, definitely drop those down below too. And we're going to be answering those either on the live today. Marty's going to be helping us answer those questions. Or we can answer those after we are done. Okay, so I think that is burnished pretty good. And let me show you how easy this is. I'm such a lazy crafter because I'm not even going to put this on to a plate. I'm not going to put it on a palette or anything. Watch how easy this is. I'm just going to use it right out of the tube. We'll grab our foam brush. We're just going to dab that paint into our stencil. Now, when you're working with your paint and your stencils, you'll be able to see the color underneath if you don't have enough paint. So if you can still see that white from your cup underneath it, that is going to show you that you need a little bit more paint. This stencil is actually made to look a little bit rustic, so it does have some spaces that are kind of voided. You can see in the font there. See how you can, it's made to look a little bit rustic. But we know that we've got paint in all of those little cracks. We don't see that white. And it's easy. Now once this we take our stencil off and we let our paint dry. We're going to need to let it dry for at least eight hours. We need that paint to fully cure. This is a no-bake ceramic paint. So if you've got some of the old ceramic paint formulas, you know that you had to bake that. Well, this is the new version and it is no-bake. Okay, let's make sure we've got all of our surface covered. And once we feel pretty good about it, then all we have to do is remove our stencil. Isn't that cute? Now, I'm going to lay this down here. And y'all, you want to take really good care of your stencils. And to make sure that you do that, you need to go ahead and drop this down into your water before it has time to dry. I'm going to go ahead and put my top back on my paint here. And y'all, I've got my blow dryer, so I'm going to mute the sound just a second. I don't want to wreck my paint job that I just did. I worked hard on that, didn't I? <laughs> Not. But I don't want to wreck it nonetheless. So I'm just going to mute the sound really quickly, and I'm going to get the blow dryer out so we can go ahead and work on our gold leaf. So it's about to get quiet. Okay, 
Now, it is going to be dry to the touch now, but it's not going to be fully cured until it has set for at least eight hours. But we can at least go ahead and start working on our gold leaf. So I'm just going to open up my gilding size. And I'm going to grab some of my gold leaf out of my package. If you have never worked with gold leaf before, y'all, that needs to be one of your New Year's resolutions. You need to say, I'm going to learn how to work with gold leaf because it is so easy. And it's really, really satisfying. So I'm just going to take my Maker Studio paintbrush. And I just want to, I think I want to gild the handle of my cup. Can you hear my cat? He's mad because I'm working here in my studio with the door closed. He, he really likes to craft. Okay, so we're just going to paint our gilding size wherever we want our gold leaf to be. Now, it's going to be a super fine line on when your gilding size is ready to have your gold leaf put on it. So, normally if it's a really poor surface, it really doesn't take that long, but it can take up to 10 minutes. And Amy tells us the way that we know it's time to put our gold leaf on, you want to take your ring finger and when your ring finger sticks to the surface and it tugs, then it's time. But that's not quite ready yet. So let's go ahead and open up a sheet of our gold leaf. And that's probably going to be enough right there. I actually have a little um, clear dish that I keep all of my scrap pieces in because I am so obsessed with gold leaf. I don't want to waste any little tiny drop of it. Okay, so let's check it one more time and see it's getting there. Can you see how my finger is actually pulling? Amy says to use our ring finger because that's the most sensitive. And you're going to have about a 10 minute window to work with it. And y'all, all you want to do is just lay your gold leaf right on. And that's all there is to gold leaf. Have you ever used the Amy Howard or the Maker Studio Gold Leaf before? It is so pretty and so classy. The finish is just amazing. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't want to get my gold leaf in there. Now, I will give you one little piece of advice, and that is do not have your ceiling fan on when you work with gold leaf. And you will definitely thank me later. So next I'm just going to take a little paintbrush and I just want to flick off the excess. Isn't that pretty? We're not quite done though. We've got one more thing that we need to do. And we're just going to tear off a piece of our orange tissue paper here. You just want to kind of ball that up a little bit. And you want to just burnish that gold leaf. So look, this is what it looks like before. See, it's pretty just like it is, but once you take that tissue paper and you start rubbing and you start burnishing in that gold leaf, 
it just takes it to that next level and it just makes it pop and look beautiful. Now, because this is sort of a delicate finish, you are going to want to hand wash this. But y'all, look how pretty that is. Now, I've got some gold leaf left over. So, I actually think I want to maybe gold leaf some little details here. Maybe I'll just go over not every piece. I'll just hit a few of our pieces inside. Our design. Just some of the main pieces. This will just kind of tie in the gold. Now remember, your ceramic paint is not going to be considered fully cured for eight hours. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here because I don't want my gilding size to dry too much. And I don't want to forget where, <laughs> which pieces I actually put sizing on. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to tell. Isn't this a cute design? Do you like to do custom coffee mugs? I'd love to give mugs as gifts. And this would also be really pretty on one of the wine glasses from the Dollar Tree, wouldn't it? Do you have big plans for the new year? Do you have some resolutions? My resolution is just to make more crafts. Be more creative. There's just something about making things and being creative that just makes me so happy. Okay, so let's go back. Our pieces are not quite ready. Let's see if we can help it along here. Now, you can actually use your gilding size in your stencil as well. So, just apply your stencil and instead of using the ceramic paint like we just did, you can actually put the gilding size in there, remove your stencil, and then put your gold leaf over the top of that. So you could have an entirely gilded design. I think that would be really pretty as well. So now I'm just going to pick up some of these little scrap pieces here. And we'll put those over what we just painted. And I didn't want too much. I just wanted a little bit of that sparkle to be on this design. I'm anticipating some of the black still showing through. And I think that's actually going to give it a really cool look. Let's see. I know I have one more piece over here. I think I need to get my eyes checked. I can definitely tell that they have changed since I have gotten older. And you can also just feel. Just feel it over your design. And you can feel it. It's kind of sticky. I 
I'm sure I'll find out in just a moment if I missed a spot. I think that's all of them though. Looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing we did with our edge here. And we'll just work off that excess leaf. Ooh, this is going to be pretty, pretty. And so easy. This would be, again, really pretty with the wine glasses. And if you're just now joining us, we are making a custom coffee mug today using our farmer's market stencil that happens to include this pretty happy new year stencil. And I forgot this one little piece here. So I'll just pick up my extra. And y'all don't forget, we are gonna, we talked Amy into doing a giveaway with the stencil today. So one lucky winner is gonna be taking the stencil home, or I guess getting it in the mail. <laughs> All you've got to do to be entered into the giveaway is to tag a couple of your friends down in the comments and Amy's gonna pick one person to get the stencil I can't wait to see what y'all do with this okay let me hold this up so you can see it isn't that pretty so again we're almost done but not quite Remember what we need to do next? We need to grab our tissue. We need to burnish it in. And if you're just now joining us, I did mention just a few moments ago that this is gonna need to be hand washed I'll be honest, I hand wash everything even though I have a dishwasher. Okay, y'all look how pretty this is. This was a super quick project, wasn't it? I can't wait. To let this cure so I can start using it tomorrow in 2022. That is all we've got time for today you guys. Until next time, until next year, happy DIYing y'all.